A lot of the products you see every day look intuitive and easy to use. Does it do anything? It tells the time. Sometimes, though, you see a design that is so embarrassingly messed up, you have to wonder who in their right mind made it. Some suffer from unfortunate malfunctions or poor attention to detail, but others boast disturbing designs that are so dumb they make you cringe down to the depths of your soul. So get your face palms ready because it's time to take a look at even more of the most uncomfortable products ever designed. It's not always easy for parents to get their kids to sit in their car seats. So, to help make kids comply, one designer had the bright idea of printing the beautiful Disney Princess Cinderella onto his car seat. The design is completely fine when the kids are small, but as they get bigger, adjusting the headrest means having to horrifyingly stretch out Cinderella's neck. Maybe they should have used a giraffe instead, or a dinosaur. Heck, even E.T.'s strangely stretchy neck would be easier to look at than this. If that last product left your senses tingling, just wait till you feast your eyes on this design failure. I didn't know Spider-Man could shoot webs out of there. I mean, this superhero famously shoots webs from his wrists, but spiders actually produce silk from their spinnerets on their abdomen. So I guess this tissue box is using a version of Spider-Man who's anatomically closer to spider than man. But Spidey ain't the only superhero done dirty by bad product design. Back in 1978, Wonder Woman fever swept the nation, leading to the creation of these inventive yet questionably designed Wonder Woman scissors. When they're closed, they look okay, but opening them tears the warrior princess's body right up the middle. Did the designer think even for an instant that maybe it shouldn't look like they were ripping her apart with every cut? Hospitals are an incredibly scary place to be if you're a kid. And this is why some hospitals decorate the walls and floors of their children's wards with a variety of fun, happy designs. These decorators, however, really miss the mark with their trail design. It looks like they were trying to paint a pretty red ribbon that the kids could follow around different wards. But from this angle, it looks like somebody's been dragging a body up and down the halls. It's either that or one of the doctors have had a really, really bad day. And while I think you can agree that a lot of these designs are terrible, the engineering behind those like and subscribe buttons down there is hella fine. Test them out if you don't believe me. All done. Great. Now, where were we? There's nothing like a nice hot cup of tea to help you relax. Although making a cuppa with this unfortunately designed Palatopus tea strainer is the opposite of relaxing. The poor thing looks like it lost a fight with a porcupine and is bleeding out in the water. So tea lovers will need to be careful what kind of loose leaf tea they use in this poor platypus. I reckon strawberry and raspberry tea are definitely out. Public restrooms can be unsettling at the best of times. Though there's one that's really pushed the boundaries of the bazaar. At first glance, it looks like any other male restroom. But what's behind that little door, I hear you asking? Well, obviously, it's concealing another urinal. Wait, why would anyone put a urinal behind a wall instead of removing it? Was it built for men who are really shy about peeing near others? Or maybe it's a secret bathroom bonus level? Got any theories about ridiculous restroom design? Let me know down in the comments. Have you ever looked at something that's been packaged unintuitively, like this needlessly bagged banana, and lost all faith in humanity? While some things are pointlessly overpackaged, others can be mind-bogglingly underpackaged, like these eggs. Yep, this store in China was actually selling raw eggs in plastic bags. Can you imagine trying to get just one or two out of that messy mix? If only they came individually packed in some kind of hard, natural, outer shell. And what a concept. In stores around the world, generic grocery brands use simple, minimalist packaging across a wide variety of household items. This means they cut down on design costs and pass that saving on to the customer. But having all your products look similar can lead to some unsettling problems, like this. 
Australia's black and gold generic grocery brand makes cooking spray and fly killer, but the two cans look a little too similar for comfort. I mean, imagine accidentally grabbing the wrong one when you're cooking. Yikes. Hope you like your pancakes with an extra side serving of poison. Have you ever gone down a flight of stairs and accidentally missed a step? Nothing on earth gets your heart racing faster. And even if you don't fall, it can really shake you up. So imagine trying to get down these stairs without ending up in a heap at the bottom. Thanks to that terrible striped design, you can hardly see where one step stops and another begins. I reckon it's safer to just wait for the elevator. Unless, of course, the elevator in question is this one. I think I felt a bit of my soul die when he put his fingers in the gap of that door hinge. Ugh. Those two sets of doors open right into each other, so if the last person didn't close the door behind them, you have to poke your fingers through the gaps and the hinges to move them out of the way. But what if the door closed when your hand was in there? You know what, I, I think I'll take my chances on the stairway of death. Thanks. There are millions of dolls in the world, and while some of them are creepy, None of them will make you feel as uncomfortable as this abomination does. Simply called, You Can Shave the Baby, this thing raises a couple of worrying questions. Firstly, babies don't usually need shaving, right? And secondly, who would be dumb enough to give a child a razor? Thankfully, it never actually hit supermarket shelves. It was made back in 1995 by Polish artist Zbigniew Libera, all as part of a series that challenged the stereotypes of contemporary culture. Well, it's definitely done its job there. A lot of people take pride in the appearance of their bathrooms, but I don't think the designer of this marble wash basin really thought their choice through. At a glance, the brownstone streaks look like someone has put a pair of poopy handprints all over it. Ugh, now that's what you call a smear campaign. Whoever made that sink appears to have designed a line of ladies' clothes as well, if this woman's disastrous dress has anything to go by. The bottom of her white frock is trimmed with a pretty reddish floral design, but the placement of those petals makes it look like she's had a little… Uh, bathroom malfunction. Do you want to tell her, or should I? Although, when it comes to poorly designed prints, this soccer ball is definitely a contender for first prize. An attempt at putting the black pentagons on the white ball was clearly made, but all the painted-on patches were in the wrong position. They're the wrong size and in the wrong direction as well, a true trifecta of failure. How the heck did this get past quality control? I guess the answer is, what quality control? Swiss Army Knives are the ultimate handheld multi-tool. The combination of tiny knives and saws with corkscrews and bottle openers all in one pocket-sized setup. Except not all Swiss Army Knives are made equally handy, as you can see by the uncomfortably colossal Wenger Giant Swiss Army Knife. With 87 different implements that can perform 141 functions, this thing weighs in at a hefty 3 pounds. So not only does it contain every tool known to man, it also doubles up as an anchor as well. To make a coffee mug stand out, some designers add fun, extra features to this age-old cup-and-handle design, like the adorable set of ears stuck onto the rim of these cute animal-themed mugs. But there's a good reason why most mugs don't have pointed protrusions sticking out of their rims, as this poor guy found out. With every sip, the porcelain ears poke drinkers right in their eyes. But I still think that little cat cup is incredibly cute. I guess for me, it's hello coffee, goodbye eyesight. As painful as that last mug was, I think I'd prefer to have my eyes poked out than use this atrocity. The designer of this mug replaced the good old reliable handle with three strange ceramic fingers. When they're interlaced with your fingers, it's meant to feel like you're holding someone's warm hand. As it's perfect for people like me who are forever alone. Jokes aside, if you filled this up with a hot beverage, surely you'd just end up burning your palm on the ceramic surface. So it's creepy and useless. What a bargain. But the crown of creepy coffee cup designs has to go to Zhang Wusok, who took his love for coffee way too far when he made these lippy coffee lids. Called Take Kiss Out, these uncanny coffee lids have fully formed human lips molded along their 
spouts. That way, it feels like you're getting a warm, coffee-flavored kiss with every sip. Or like you're swapping hot, caffeinated spit with someone. Ugh. Have you ever been stood up for so long that you'd be willing to sit down anywhere? Well, no matter how much pain you're in, I don't reckon you'd want to sit on this. Yep, that's a chair, but it's been made entirely out of pencils, with the scarily sharpened ends poking out of the backrest, seat, and arms. It was created by artist, and evident sadist, Kerstin Schultz, who makes a variety of these different sculptures and structures out of these writing implements. And if you thought her pencil chair looked painful, wait till you see the entire shutterworthy set she made to go with it. Could you imagine sitting on that chair, leaning on that table, or opening that briefcase? I think I'd rather stand, thanks. Although that pencil chair is nothing compared to this throne of unimaginable pain, you're looking at a chair that's had thousands of nails hammered into every last inch of it. Now, there's no information about why this designer made this insanely strange chair, but I reckon, like the pencil chair, it was probably part of an art installation. It's either that or whoever made it just really hated sitting down. But they didn't have as much contempt for comfiness as the designer of this cactus sofa does. This freakishly real-looking image was used as part of an advertising campaign for TV channel AXN. The image, along with its tagline of, relax, if you can, is meant to refer to its heart-racing action and reality program. Except, sitting down to watch something on that couch is the last thing I'd ever want to do. Have you ever used a public toilet and discovered, all too late, that the toilet paper is just out of reach? It's the most annoying design flaw in history, but there's one product that's been made to combat that problem. Though it doesn't look much better. This British invention is the hilariously named Bog Standard Toilet Seat, which has a toilet roll holder built into the front of it. I mean, sure, it solves the problem of having to waddle over to the toilet roll, but there's something about having it between your legs that just doesn't look right. Not to mention lifting up the seat would immediately trail the paper down into the toilet water below. That's a bum design if you ask me. When it comes to the ultimate crappy toilet design, there's one clear winner. Literally. This public restroom installed some fancy frosted glass stalls to give people a little privacy. Except that porcelain throne is way too close to the partition, so while the frosting obscures some detail, it's not enough to conceal the fact that this guy was definitely doing a number two. Though I really hope the person taking this picture remembered to turn their flash off. Like real-life toilet designs weren't bad enough, imagine reaching for the toilet paper and brushing your hand against this nightmare-inducing thing instead. Thankfully, it's photoshopped, but the very idea of a cheese grater toilet paper just made me clutch my undercarriage in fear. What kind of sadist would create something like this? Maybe the same person who created that nail chair? Whoever it was, I reckon they just summed up the whole of 2020 in one design. Back in February 2021, a mother from Pennsylvania bought her young daughter a box of Bunchums. These tiny toys have long plastic legs that stick together, a bit like Lego, if Lego was made of Velcro. While the packaging clearly said to keep the toys away from hair, young kids don't often read the instructions. And inevitably, just a few hours later, the girl's mother was faced with this horrifying scene. More than 150 bunchums had bunched together and matted up the poor kid's hair. It took this mom more than 20 grueling hours to comb out every last one, but she wasn't the only one caught up in this tangle. All over the world, young children and even adults have had to learn the hard way that bunchums and hair are not a fun combination. Now, if you want to avoid buying toys likely to terrorize your kids, you're usually safe with a classic cuddly teddy bear. Emphasis on the usually. Looking at this adorable bear, you'd think it was perfectly lovable, right down to the cute little blue sweater. Except, taking off that sweater reveals that its legs have been nightmarishly sewn into its neck. Oh god, who makes a teddy bear without a body? Or did this designer just take the phrase, legs that go all the way up, a little too literally? 
Hey, baby, do those legs go all the way up? Why, yes, they do! Ah! Although that's not the worst teddy on the market, as proven by this terrifying teddy that patients have frighteningly found at their dentists. The beaming bear is meant to help kids feel more at ease while they're in the dentist's chair, but that gummy grin is horrendously unnerving. And even worse, with age, these fake teeth fall out, leaving the bears with mouths full of ghastly gums. Who knew the dentists could be even worse than it already was? When the kids aren't busy being creeped out at the dentists, some of them can find disturbing designs like this in their classrooms. When this school asked the designer for cubby holes that would keep the kids' coats, er, hung, I don't think this is what they had in mind. I mean, they could have covered those suggestive-looking ends in aeroplanes, lollipops, cactuses, anything but this. The bright yellow minions from the Despicable Me film franchise are so popular with children, they have their own huge range of merchandise. While some of the designs are so funny they'll make anyone cry laughing, others, like this, will just make you weep. This bright red, 3-in-1 kids shampoo, conditioner, and body wash is supposed to smell like strawberry and banana. But that leaky design flaw makes it look like it's scented with pure nightmare fuel. Speaking of bananas, do you think the designer was eating one when they made this slide? Sure, a three-way banana split slide seems like a great idea for a kid's playground. But without any partitions at the top, the kids can slide right into one of those deadly dividers a little further down. Ouch. My condolences go out to every little boy who slid down one of these slides with their legs open. Now, curves can add a little excitement to any slide, but sharp bends set on a steep angle like this can turn a children's slide into a child tenderizer. Ugh, ouch, I felt that. Looks like this playground engineer was really bad at their job. Either that or they just really, really hated children. Speaking of people who hate children, the designer of this pullover clearly had nothing but contempt for the kids they were dressing. The unbelievably suggestive pattern on the front of this tiny sweater is meant to be a safety pin, but the proportions just make it look obscene. I gotta say, that's a pretty cocky design for any kind of clothing. Although the award for cockiest design has to go to whoever created this inflatable slide. Blow-up slides and tubes like this usually have inflatable curtains attached to their ends to stop kids falling out of them, but that doesn't make it any less disturbing to look at. The fact that the curtains are red really doesn't help the situation. Though it could be worse. Those tubes could be attached to a huge inflatable man. Oh god, just like this one. I don't know what's weirder, that the kids can look out of the pizza chef's stomach or that they have to exit the inflatable ride like this. Also, who designs an inflatable ride based on pizza? I have so many questions, but I don't want answers to any of them. There are few cartoon characters more well-loved than SpongeBob SquarePants, but even his biggest fans would find fault with this horrendous chocolate product. Whoa, the bright blue eyes staring out from the milk chocolate mold pierce right into your soul. You'd think if the designers were going to focus on one color detail about this little character, it'd be his famously yellow skin, not those creepily intense blue eyes. And SpongeBob's not the only character who's been ruined by chocolate. The kid that was unfortunate enough to open up this innocent, foil-wrapped Santa candy was faced with this hugely inappropriate chocolate tube. I don't envy the parents that had to explain this suggestive shape to their kids on Christmas morning. Hey kids, go ahead and eat your- Oh. Now, as vile as it sounds, human teeth have been used in all manner of accessories and jewelry for hundreds, if not thousands, of years. But when they're incorporated into modern designs like this, they reach a whole new level of wrong. These spine-chilling soled shoes are horrifyingly realistic concepts from the luxury fashion brand Darwinian Voodoo. The British-based studio has revamped classic shoes like Oxford's, Mary Jane's, and Stilettos by implanting synthetic teeth into their soles. Even Adidas trainers weren't safe from this nightmarish customization. And as skin-crawling as they look, can you imagine the sounds they make on a hard floor? 
Some Americans are obsessed with the cowboy lifestyle, so much so they won't wear anything on their feet other than garish cowboy boots. But when it gets unbearably hot, some of them turn to shudder-worthy footwear, redneck boot sandals. It's all the absence of style of a cowboy boot scandalously combined with a traditional sandal. And the worst part is, they come in plenty of different styles, from a day at the beach to a floral flip-flop, and even a pair for the designer-loving ladies. Quickly, someone call the fashion police. Now, if you found those cowboy sandals uncomfortable, this set of rubber boots might send you over the edge. Just the thought of going out in these on a rainy day and having your socks soaked in seconds is enough to make your toes curl. These deliberately bad boots were designed as part of a collection called the Uncomfortable by architect Caterina Camperini. She tweaked the fundamental design of each object to render it useless and make people laugh. But personally, they make me want to cry. Like this cooking pot, which makes my wrists hurt just looking at it. Or this incredibly thick fork. Does anyone else feel a strong case of lockjaw coming on? Thankfully, almost all of these are 3D visualizations and prototypes, so they don't exist in real life. Except, that last one definitely does. Metalworker and 3D print enthusiast Derek Roma brought the thick fork to life back in 2020, proving that it really was humanity's worst year on record. What would you even be able to eat with this? Well, I guess you could try to use it for soup if you don't mind destroying the bowl. Or maybe it could be used to clobber an avocado into guacamole? Uh, what do you think? Let me know what you'd use it for down in the comments. If you didn't think the thick fork was that bad, then I dare you not to flinch at the thought of using this crazy cutlery. Created by Japanese jewelry designer Maki Okamoto, this next-level spork was made from recycled antique cutlery. She designed it as part of an art collection, along with a lot of other terrible tableware, to encourage people to slow down their dining experience. I forget slowing down. I'd abandon the entire dining experience altogether if I had to try to put that in my mouth. Now, strange sporks aren't the only deviously designed cutlery on the market. Say hello to the hair-raising grapefruit spoon. With that strangely serrated edge and curved base, this unholy love child of a spoon and a knife makes quick work of hard-to-cut grapefruits. And it makes sense that one of the worst fruits in the world would require the use of one of the worst-looking utensils in history. I mean, would you be willing to put that serrated edge in your mouth? I think I'd rather starve. But it's not just crazy cutlery that'll make your mouth hurt. The Japanese Face Slimmer Exercise Mouthpiece is a huge mold based on a pair of outrageously large lips. To tighten up those facial features, all you have to do is insert it between your lips and teeth and flap your gums for a few minutes. Ah. And clearly, it gives you some sweet ventriloquist skills, even if it does leave you in pain and looking like a blow-up doll. Which of these disastrous designs did you find the most uncomfortable? Or do you own any of them yourself? Let me know down in the comments below, and thanks for watching.